All of Chiefs Kingdom held its collective breath while we saw the reigning Super Bowl MVP struggle to get off the ground with hopes of a second Super Bowl flash right before our eyes. But in dramatic fashion, the Chiefs still survived in one of the most memorable playoff wins in team history. Tonight, we relive the best Chiefs reaction presented by Tickets for Less. Other than uh, LinkedIn, I don't think hashtag uh, any given sunny or Sunday or any given possible is going to show up on LinkedIn. You know, hats off to Chad, OG, Triple OG, like I said before. You know, we go all the way back since the days where I wasn't even in uh, Michigan. I was in high school. He was throwing. I don't even know if I was in high school yet. I was probably in elementary still when Chad was throwing the ball at Michigan. But listen, our, our crowd was phenomenal tonight. Limited numbers in, but. Uh, they're tremendous. When adversity hits, what are you going to do? Where do we go from here as a team? And uh, like I said earlier, we just rallied around Chad, uh, tried to give him all the confidence, uh, knowing that that we were out there trying to make plays for him every single snap, just like just like we would if Pat was out there. So it's just um, rallying together. And this team, it's a tight knit team with great leadership, man. And uh, and I love it. It's all about team. You know, I think anytime you you, you get a moment to to have some motivation to to win a game, to pull it through for somebody, one of your teammates. Um, you just got to take advantage of those moments and really seize them. How we came together and won as a team. You know, the best wins are when you do it as a team. You know, when you can go in there, you know, you got all this adversity. You got these different situations that come up in the game. You know, that goes down, you know, your, your quarterback. You know, those are all adverse situations. In adversity, you know, the true man rides to the top. The cream rises to the top in adversity. And, uh, you know, shout out Chad. Like I said, he was one of the, he was the cream today, baby. Put my head down. The team, This team's giving me so much, so I put my body out there for them. You know, to see Chad Henney, you know, scramble, you know, try to get that first down, um, that, like that's all heart. Like that, those are the moments that lift teams. You know, that, that those are the moments that build confidence. You know, we try our best to make those plays all the time. You know, we got great coaches. Um, they always put us in great positions, but um, I think when it comes down to it, you know, our players showed a lot of heart today. Yeah, it's definitely a big adrenaline rush. Um, obviously, you never want to see a guy like Patrick go down. Um, obviously, you know, one of the best players in the league, but that's why I'm here, you know, coming prepared. Um, there's a lot of great players around me uh, that made me feel confident. That guy, no matter what it is, that he's, he's ready and he's fired up. Uh, and, and ready to go, and, and, and we love him for it. And, and nothing really changed, man. We still had the fire in us. We knew that we could uh, we could score points with Chad, and we could move the ball down the field with Chad. Especially coming here, uh, just enlightened me. I mean, Coach Reed and his staff and the players here um, just brought out a lot of me. And especially Patrick to see all of his success, and he's helped me out more than I feel like he, I helped him. And um, it's just a pleasure to be here. And this is why this is why I play, and I prepare each and every week uh, to go out there and be the best me, and you know, just have fun with the guys. I'm proud of Chad and the way he handled everything, and you know, he probably said it best when he said, "Listen, you know, the, this team is unbelievable when somebody has to come in and make them feel comfortable, and you know, that's what team's all about." You know, you watch Pat go down, and you know, you, you hear the whole stadium gas for air. You know, everybody's looking for questions and looking for things, you know, but, um, you know, when you got a guy who's always prepared, a guy who does his job and takes his job serious, you know, the results to show for yourself. I think we'll all remember that, that, that run and the dive and then the throw. Um, but listen, nobody got down. I mean, there was nobody that was hanging their head or moping throughout the game. Um, things didn't always go the direction we wanted it to go. And, you know, the guys kept battling. Chad came in and, uh, and uplifted us. We uplifted him. And we just rallied together, man. And that's what this team did offensively, defensively, special teams. Um, we just got, we circled the wagon and got a little bit tighter as a group and, uh, and and found a way to win against a good football team. The intestinal fortitude of the guys um, pounding through, not getting down when Pat went down, uh, that, that's, easily, that's easier said than done. Having a sense of urgency, having a sense of confidence and urgency in the guys around you and knowing that, all right, I got to do my job for the guy next to me. The Chiefs, because we are the champions, I think people forget this, uh, they're going to challenge us every day. They're going to challenge us every day in their meetings. They're going to challenge us every day on their field to be the best they can be to beat us. So um, we have to understand that and come to work every day ready to work. Yeah, there's no time to say anything other than let's go. You know, Chad, get one. I mean, it was we're in the middle of it. We're trying to win the game, right? So there's no time. I mean, nobody had any doubt. And then the will to win. I mean, that's uh, somewhere you got to be able to reach deep during the tough times and, and pull that out. And if the coaches are flinching, if the players, your leaders are flinching, then it's not going to happen. And our locker room's not going to flinch. I mean, they're, they're tough that way. Um, that doesn't mean you're going to win every game. That's not what I'm saying. But uh, it's going to sure give you a chance. And then it builds confidence in the coaches to, to go for a fourth and one. 
There was no doubt. I mean, there was no doubt on our sideline. Guys just went, hey, there's no tomorrow. Let's go.